would you describe at all what it means to you? Ah, uh, man. Um, it means it means a ton. You know, um, I guess it kind of should have been on my radar, but it, it really wasn't. I was uh, really just dialing into coaching and, you know, trying to get, the, you know, working to get the guys better and working on being a better coach and learning, you know, my role and my responsibility as assistant coach. And um, I wasn't really thinking about it. Obviously, we had the Hall of Fame, you know, happening this weekend um, with the guys going in. Congrats to them. But it's, it's a huge honor. It's awesome. You know, the only thing I kept thinking about is <clears throat> when my children come to a game this year, you know, to that game, you no. Know, You'll see Daddy's name up there, so it's pretty awesome. What does it mean just when you think about the other seven guys who are up there already? Yeah, it's I mean, it's an elite crew. You know, it's 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 great. You know, every time when I played, you know, you walk into the stadium coming off the bus and one of the first things you look at is, you know, you look at the bowl, you look at the ring and to be up there, it, you know, with those guys, it's an honor. It's an honor. Yeah, one thing Dennis says is like the guard position, I think it tends to get overlooked in terms of the value that it brings, especially for a guy like Drew, yep. you know, who needs that, that interior pocket that you were both best and never did it. You know, is that kind of just a good feeling to know that you know, the guard position is being appreciated the way it should be? Yeah, I think um, every team is different. Our team, that's what, you know, I wanted to be the best player I can be. We wanted to maximize everybody's strengths, and we did that. You know, we did that with Drew's play, with his leadership, him being a general out there. and. You know, we always told ourselves that we protect them. You know, we can make plays down the field. We were never out of a game because because of Drew. So we all just, you know, worked hard and not to let each other down. And I was just trying to be the best player I can be, the best teammate I can be, and go out there and uh, win games. How surprised were you? I know Dennis stood up here yesterday and said, hey, to try to keep it a secret from you yeah. as much as possible. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know, man. We walked into the meeting, and uh, <laughs> when they start talking about it, I still wasn't really thinking myself. I'm like, okay, well, you know, I'm like, is Drew in the hallway or who's who's here? But, you know, once they put the silhouette up, it was, you know, I was like, damn, this is this happening. So it was awesome. They did a great job, and uh, I was very surprised. You know, I'm obviously not surprised in the way I played and the things I did well, but, you know, it wasn't on my radar to happen this soon. Um, but um, it's awesome, and I'm excited, excited about it. There's going to be a bunch of other guys, I'm sure, from yeah. that from your era on the Saints that are eventually going to go up there. To yeah. be up there, you know, sort of leading the pack for the rest of the guys, that part's got to feel nice because you know you're going to get some company, right? Yeah, it's, it's, all, it's amazing, man. And, uh, you know, I told the guys in that meeting, the biggest thing is that we won games, you know what I mean, as a team. And, and that's what you inspire to do as a team, you know, is to win games. That's the most important thing is to win. But, um, you know, once I got back to my phone, all my teammates and friends, and, you know, it should, it's going to be a packed house that game. <laughs> so, are, are you going to be fun. Are you the reason Deuce got in the end zone in that 06? <laughs> well, <laughs> when he gets filled up here, what do you <laughs> Well, everybody knows when we play Philly, you know, I had to do my thing. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, you know, Deuce, I tell him all the time, he was, he was my first thousand yard back in the league. Deuce ran hard. We had a great line, and, you know, we, we was toting that rock. So, but it was, uh, it was a great team effort. Carney was in there, too, you know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah. Would you mind if I ask you a coach, sure. coaching question? I, I've seen you talking with Trevor Penning a bunch. What yeah. kind of things are you trying to get? A, I mean, I, I'm guessing a lot of it's just the mental side, right? What kind of things are you trying to get across? To um, you? you know, encourage him to be the physical player that he is. Encourage him to throw his hands. Um, encourage him to work on his technique and his footwork. And I think Trevor is doing that. You know, the eye in the sky doesn't lie. So when we get back in the meeting room, it's easy to show him those things on film. But when you're out here, you always got to work on your technique and work on something. And, and I think Trevor is doing a good job transitioning to the right side. And uh, I think you're seeing the player that, you know, he was kind of getting growing to be before the injury a couple of years ago. We're not going to talk about that. But Trevor, Trevor is a big physical guy. And the more we can get him using his physicality and having confidence in his physicality, he's going to be all right. You see a difference in him this year than at this point last year? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think, it's yeah, I think his confidence level is up. Um, you know, I think he's uh, encouraged to play next to Caesar as well. And, um, you know, and I think he, he well, the thing about Trevor is he always wants to be, wants to be good. He never shies away from that. But just make sure he has the confidence and go out there and keep working. What does uh, confidence in his physicality look like? Just, just throwing his hands, being physical. I think you guys saw in that one play where he pulled around close to the end. You know, he got a good lick on the backer out there. And um, just having him have the confidence that, He's going to get better. He just just can continue pushing. You know, we all know he he's a big guy and he and he likes to go to the echo of the whistle. You know, just try to you know have him hone it in and have organized chaos out there.
Thank you. Yep. Congrats. Congrats. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys.